All right. Hi, friends. <laughs> so happy to be here with you. Um, you guys look really happy today. <laughs> Um, thanks for making this time for yourself. I've got a couple new faces. My name is Erin, if I'm new to you. And this is our forest yoga flow. I know a couple people are new to this practice. Some of you, this might be old news, but uh, forest yoga, nothing about trees. We might bring in some elements, but um, it's named after Anna Forest. So it's a little bit, we'll play with different shapes, some longer holds, and some really intentional, like deep, full breaths. You can invite in sound. Um, I'll kind of cue you through it, so. Let's go ahead and find a comfortable seat. And then just a reminder, there is still a mask ordinance in the state of Colorado. Only you can exempt yourself. And that's while you're on the four corners of your mat. So find your comfortable seat, ideally a shape with your knees below your hips. And then your choice today, whether your palms come face up, maybe face down. And then soften or close down your eyes. Take a moment as you arrive to attune to your breath. Notice any subtle qualities within your physical body. Maybe your emotional and mental realm as well. Just take note. And let's take a couple full breaths to arrive all together. Take a deep inhale from your low belly. Allow the breath to rise and fill your chest. Send it out your mouth on your exhale with a little sound. And we'll take that two more times. Take a deep, full inhale. This time, exhale, let it go. Don't hold back. <sighs> One more time, just like that, deep, full in breath. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Now seal your lips and find your ujjayi breath. Find smooth, deep breaths in and out through your nose. And then as you arrive here, really exaggerate the texture and the length of your inhale. Visualize your rib cage expanding and pulling in almost like a bright white light, the prana of your in-breath. Allow it to expand into every cell of your being. And then same time visualizing with each out-breath that anything that's stuck or stagnant, any energy that doesn't belong to you or isn't serving you, leaving your physical body. We'll take a few full rounds of breath just in this man. Take two more full rounds, Ujjayi Pranayama. Keep turning up the volume on your breath. Your neighbor should be able to hear you. You're breathing that deep. And then same time, turn down the volume on any mental chatter or noise. Stay really grounded, present. And then for your next breath here, I'd like to invite in the intention of just tuning into subtleties today, specifically with the breath, with sensation. We'll also play with areas of our physical body that we aren't usually tuning into. Take one more full breath option to hold at the very top, Kumbhaka retention. And smooth deep exhale, same time option to hold at the very bottom. Friends at home, we're cueing our playlist. We'll hit play in three, two, and one. Drop your palms by your hips, broaden through your fingertips, really reach. And then on your inhale, sweep your arms towards the sky. Use your full in-breath. Exhale, gather your palms to meet at your heart. And we'll take that two more times. Drop your palms and then really broaden, expand through your fingertips. Exhale to pull and press. Take that one more time. Don't rush. Take it at your own pace. And visualize big heart energy moving through your fingertips and then pause with your palms to your heart drop your hands to your ankles and we'll come into baddha konasana for any reason this is too much today engage through your low belly a little bit of mula bandha to lengthen through your lower spine if you want a couple presses of your knees towards the air 
almost like you're flying. <laughs> and then the closer your heels are to your glutes, the deeper your sensation will be here. Take an inhale, find length through your spine. And then exhale, round, tuck your chin to your chest. So take that two more times. Inhale, reach forward, broaden through your collarbone. Ujjayi, exhale as you round and curl. And take that one more time. And then pause with a long spine. We'll start with breath called Uddiyana. It's an upward motion of energy. We've done this usually in chair pose in here. Take an inhale breath to fill. And then exhale, hold the breath out, scoop the belly in, and then visualize the breath traveling up. Hold the breath out. As you're ready, take an inhale. We've got about five more rounds. We'll move at our own pace. On your exhale, hollow the belly, little Jalandara Bandha, tuck your chin, suspend the breath. And take four more rounds at your own pace. In your last round of breath, see if you can suspend the breath a little bit longer. Really draw your navel towards your spine. Grow tall through your crown. And then take an inhale, release. Extend your right leg long. And some of you know this shape. Option to take this expression or like a half hurdler's pose. Check in, make sure both sitting bones meet the earth if you're taking that expression. And then we'll start by rainbowing up and over to the right. Stay broad through your heart, soften through your torso and your neck here as you rest. And then like you're spiraling open through your torso, really reach, extend through your left fingertips. And then really intentionally here, start to send your breath along your left side body. And again, coming back to the subtleties of this shape, flex through your right toes, broaden through your left fingertips, and then see if you can relax your neck, your jaw for another two full rounds of breath. And then leave your torso, your head heavy. On your next inhale, extend your left fingertips towards the sky and then broaden through your palm. I visualize this broad palm almost as like a yes to life, like a receiving energy. And then traction the back of your palm to the back of the space, like you're opening through your heart. Breathe here. And if at any point you want to invite a little sound or a sigh with your exhale, that can give you good somatic relief. On your next out breath, flip your palm away from your crown. If you ever need a visual, you can gaze up front. <laughs> and then drop your palm to the earth. Leave your head and your torso heavy. Pause when you're about 10 to 12 inches from your mat. And then energize your fingertips away from your crown. And you could find a little yes through your neck here, a little no maybe. Yeah, nice breath. Soften with your neck back there. And then listen carefully, especially if this shape is new to you. Leave your head and your neck heavy as you rise. Reach through your left fingertips to pull you upright. Head heavy, head heavy. And then bring your right hand to the side of your right face or your face. Help it through center. <laughs> Hope we don't have two faces. <laughs> we'll take that on the other side. Switch out your legs. <laughs> take your time. On this side, you might need a subtly different shape. Flex your left toes. Really important, those subtleties. Yeah, notice how that changes sensation in your legs. Bend your left elbow. And then inhale, rainbow up and over through the right. You even might take a peek in the mirror here if it's accessible to you. Spiral your top shoulder back and away. So you're shining broad through your heart space. And then deepen your breath, friends. And then notice here in stillness, if you start to pick up anything through your neck or through your face, leave it soft. 
Nice, Fuller. Can you drop your top arm a little more? Yeah, you feel that? Beautiful. <laughs> Continue to run your breath along your right side body here. And your intercostals here along your right side, your rib cage. Fill and breathe. Beautiful expression. Soften for another out breath. And then leave your torso, your neck, especially really heavy. Inhale, extend your right fingertips towards the sky, broad through your palm. And then traction just slightly, your palm, your shoulder towards the back. Deep, full breath. And then what sensation, subtle or intense here, is present in your physical? Just tune in. Flip your palm to face the entrance, and then exhale, torso head heavy, drop your palm to the earth. And it might be a little closer to the mat than you would think, and then reach, really important, energize through your right fingertips, lengthen through the right side of your neck. If you want to find a little micro movement through your neck, could help to release. And oftentimes we hold on to stress, maybe even worry through our neck, through our jaw. Just become aware on and off the mat. Take another full inhale and then soften with your out breath. Leave your head, your neck heavy on your inhale. Reach to your right fingertips. Pull you upright, head heavy. Bring your left hand to your face. Help your head to rise. Just retraining here. Beautiful. And then come to lie on your back. We'll set up rolling bridge. Measure first, bring your feet to the earth, and then graze the backs of your heels with your fingertips. And first round, we'll hold on your inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips towards the sky. And then pause here, engage through the front line, through your belly. Shift your tailbone towards the front, and then are you breathing? Lift your hips a little bit higher. Engage your knees through your center line. And deepen your breath here. At any point, option for forceful exhale out your mouth. Lift your hips a little bit high. And then on your next inhale, leave your hips high. Reach your arms towards the sky, back of your palms to meet the earth. Lift higher. Lift your heels into the air. And then on an exhale, one vertebrae at a time, arms will correlate with your breath as you lower to the earth. Your tailbone arrives last, strong tuck. And we'll take a few rounds, rolling bridge on your inhale. Lift your hips, your arms towards the sky. Pause at the tippy top. And then your exhale slowly like you're a wave round down. Really articulate through your spine. And then start to take this at your own pace. As you lower, lifting the heels will give you a little more space to elongate your low back. Exaggerate the tuck of your tail. And then take another two full rounds. Pause anywhere along the way that you'd like to explore. Really use your breath. And then after you've completed your two full rounds, pause with your hips extended towards the sky. Option to create a little shelf with your fingers face out, your palms beneath the backs of your hips. Settle here. And then breathe along the front line of your body. Option to play, extending your right leg towards the sky first. If you're taking that point through your foot, think Barbie feet, the half flex, half point. <laughs> Just activate. Yeah, these look beautiful. Nice, Greg. Take another full breath here. And then exhale, ground your right foot. If you're taking it, extend your left. If you're staying static, lift your hips a little bit higher. Really nice, Sophie. It's the perfect point. <laughs> As you're ready, ground through both feet. And then exhale, slowest transition yet. Ground your hips to the earth. Draw your knees up and into your chest. You give yourself a squeeze. Find movement along your spine. And then eventually rock and roll over your knees. Find your way to downward facing dog. And down dog, you've got a couple breaths to settle in. As you arrive, I encourage you to tune back into those subtleties. Make sure your feet are hips width distance, your palms, your fingers are spread as wide as they go. And then like you're a cat clawing your mat, rock more weight into your fingertips. 
especially through your pointer finger and your thumb. And then find movement along your neck here. Little yes, little no. Are you breathing? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Take a deep inhale, Phil. Exhale, run it out your mouth. Beautiful. Let's take one more just like that. Deep inhale. Exhale, sound. Take up space. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. At any point, you can invite that in. So a safe space to do that. And we're going to warm up through our core. Build a little fire. If turbo dog is new to you. Option to gaze forward. Otherwise, stay in your down dog. Drop your knees a little towards the earth. Press your belly towards your thighs. And then drop your elbows towards the earth claw your mat really active through your fingers hasta banda there's a banda and energy lock in your palms and then spiral your shoulders in if you need a visual just gently gaze forward and then stay here shift your hips towards the sky deep full breath you should feel a little shake in your legs maybe a little fire in your belly your shoulders it's intentional stay with it Drop your elbows a little closer towards your mat. Spiral your elbows towards center and take one more full round of breath. <laughs> Inhale, downward facing dog. Straighten your arms, your legs. Take a little pedal or shift. And then inhale, ripple roll forward. Find a plank pose. Take your time around. Send a long line of energy out your heels. And then notice your breath. Inhale to a downward facing dog. Let's take that two more times. Inhale like a wave. Ripple roll forward. And then scoop your low belly up and in. Hollow. Inhale, downward facing dog. And this time, drop to your forearms. Find dolphin pose. If you ever need a break, take it. If you're shoulder injured only, bring your palms closer to touch. Walk your feet towards your face. And then deep, full breaths here. Gaze down at the earth. Draw, wrap your shoulders, your elbows towards your center line, and then deepen your breath if you want more. Feeling a little fiery today. Option to ground through your left foot, extend your right foot towards the sky. Again, same point or flex, whatever, as long as your foot is active. Deep, full breath. If you need a break, take it and then come back in. Switch your legs if you're extending. Left hip, spiral it towards the earth if it's lifted, and then kick a little bit higher. Take one more full breath. Exhale, release both feet to the earth. Drop to your knees. And we'll take toes pose as our uh, recovery here. A little bit of sensation, though. Depends on your body. Make sure your pinky toes tuck under. Come to sitting hips to heel. And then palms could come to your thighs. Just find a couple little shifts back and forth if you want more sensation. Close down your eyes. Just breathe. And then for where we're going, we'll warm up through our wrists. So gaze forward if you need. Extend your right palm towards the front, broad through your fingertips. Keep your wrist in line with your shoulder. So there's that energetic line. Bring your left hand to your pinky. And we're going to take a couple breaths, reach through your palm, through your thumb, and then gentle pull of your pinky towards your torso. Deep breaths. Take a couple rounds of breath each finger and then move on. Stay broad, reaching through your pinky, through your thumb. And then soften through your face, same time. Keep moving, take so I would say two, maybe three full ujjayi yogi deep breaths per finger. And just notice that subtle sensation. So the hands, the feet, not always the areas that we're attuned to. And then once you get to your thumb, really reach through your pinky and pause. Take an extra breath or so here. And then release, take a little roll of your right wrist and switch, extend your left towards the front. Yeah, if you want a couple more wrist rolls, take them. And then starting on the left, start with your pinky. If you need a break with the feet, take it. Even a little pitter patter <laughs> can get a little intense, but see if you can sit with sensation. When you find an edge, just breathe a little deeper. Yeah. 
Again, two to three breaths per finger. Keep your palm broad, your wrist in line with your shoulder. And again, as you reach your thumb, take an extra full breath. Reach through your pinky. Visualize the energy extending from your heart all the way to your palm. Beautiful. As you're complete, roll out your wrists. If you want to take any other wrist stretches, we have a moment before we start to really move. And then find your way back to your downward facing dog. You've got about two, maybe three breaths before we'll arrest. Down dog, as you shift your hips towards the sky, we we'll synchronize our breath. Take a deep inhale first, fill. Exhale, let it go out your mouth. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, travel to the top. Take a halfway lift, find length through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Two more times, inhale, halfway lift. Reach your tail away from your crown. Exhale, deepen your fold. Last time, inhale and pause. Scoop your low belly up in it. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise and reach, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold with length through your spine. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back to a plank pose. And then yogi's choice here. I like to start with eight limbs pose. You're welcome to chaturanga, shift forward first. On an exhale, drop to your knees, chest, chin to the earth. Inhale, cobra pose, press into your feet, your pelvis as you rise. Exhale, to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, journey to the top. Take a halfway lift, nice transition, Sophie. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise. Exhale, this time swan dive as you hinge. Offer your heart towards the earth. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, plank pose. And then your journey to downward facing dog, as long as you keep your long lines of energy. Palms broad, length to the back of your neck. Yeah, really nice, Bola. Down dog this time. Inhale to fan your right foot towards the sky. Broaden through your toes. And then same time, ground down your left heel to the earth. You feel that subtle shift. Exhale, knee to nose. Puff through the back of your heart. And then place your foot between your palms and softly. Drop your back knee to the earth. Inhale, engage your core as you rock. Draw your palms to touch. Take a couple little shifts, engage your core as you shift into your hip flexors. And then keep your core engaged. Inhale, reach through your fingertips, gaze high option for a little micro back bend, arch behind your heart. Stay for your inhale. Exhale, ground your hands to the earth and find Ardha Hanumanasana. Half splits, flex your right toes and then parallel your hips. You've got a couple breaths here to explore if you want little pulses. But I recommend engage the top line of your leg to release more through your hamstring. Reciprocal inhibition, feel that subtle shift. And then all together, inhale, take a halfway lift. Shift forward to a low lunge. Step forward, but cross your left ankle behind your right to a forward fold. Soften through your torso. If you want more sensation, option to journey your hands to the right, but keep your hips square and midline, soften through your head. And then inhale back through center. Take a halfway lift, unwind your legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Your choice, hands to high or swan neck. Take it to a halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, plank pose, and then your breath to your movement, don't rock. Make sure your shoulders don't drop below your elbows as you lower. Beautiful transition. Down dog as you arrive, take a full inhale breath. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. 
Use your full inhale, fan your left toes wide to the sky, ground through your right heel. Draw your left hip back in line with your right. And then exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Step through your palm. Drop your back knee to the earth. Anjaneyasana, ground as you rise. Option to draw your palms to touch and take a couple little pulses in and out of your hip flexor. Option for a little back bend. Keep your core engaged here. Gaze high, arch behind your heart space. Deep breath. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale to Ardha Hanumanasana. Straighten your front leg. Take a peek at your hips. Make sure they're in a line and then activate your left. You've got a couple breaths to explore. And our body has its own innate intelligence, right? So listen to where it's guiding you. Even if that's opposing my cues, that should take precedence. Together, inhale to a halfway lift, find length. Exhale, shift forward, low lunge. Shift forward, cross leg forward, fold right ankle behind. And then soften your torso, breathe. This time, hands might come to the left. Just make sure you can stay soft through your torso if you're taking it there. Inhale, back through center. Take a halfway lift, unwind your legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms and take it to downward facing dog. You're always welcome to spice it up or to skip if you'd like. Take what you need. Nice transition, Maggie. Down dog, two full breaths as you make your way back. Take a breath together. Take an inhale, fill. Exhale, sound, sigh, let something go. Yeah, it feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> Inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, journey to the top. Take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold, nice transition, Kim. Inhale, chair pose, Ukatasana. Beautiful. Take a moment. Take a peek down at your toes. Notice if your toes, the knuckles are white. Shift your weight back to your heels. Maybe even fan your toes wide to find your equilibrium. Sit deeper into your chair, gaze forward. Beautiful. Say one inch deeper. Exhale, forward fold. Take a half lift. Exhale to downward facing dog if you want to flow out of it. Beautiful. Down dog, use your full inhale, extend your right leg, sweep it high. Exhale, bend at your right knee, open through your right hip. Couple breaths, explore. If you want to flip, take movement, variation. Really pretty, Lily. And then square your hips, straighten your legs. Exhale, knee to nose, step through lightly. And then make sure you've got a long stance. Drop to your back knee, come onto your back toe. Some of you know where we're going. Talk about subtleties. We're coming into uh, archer lunge, arrow lunge, excuse me. So a couple options. If this is too intense, you're always welcome to re-tuck your toe. Inhale, sweep your arms high. And then keep your lunge low. Keep a 90-degree bend in this right knee. Lift your back knee. So a little lower than a crescent lunge. Couple full breaths. Reach your back heel towards the back wall. And then notice, don't pick up any tension through your face. We'll pulse a few times. Exhale, drop your knee to the earth. Come into Arda. Straighten your front leg and hinge. Engage your core a lot. Inhale, come forward. Option, lift your back knee. And then move slowly. We have three more. Take it at your own pace. Yeah, nice breath. Inhale, rise. You can always linger anywhere along the way. Explore sensation. Make it your own. You might come a little bit deeper or find another layer with each round. And take it one more time. Beautiful. And then pause back in your Ardha Hanama, your half split. Option again here, we've got a couple breaths. You might stay. Option to sink your hips towards your heels, soften through your spine. Keep your right foot active. 
If you're feeling super bendy, most bodies probably not ready for full Hanuman yet, but you have time. If it's calling to you, we'll have a chance to move there later as well. If you shifted your hips back or ventured further, come back through your Arda Hanuman, stack your hips. Inhale, shift forward slightly. Take a quarter turn to the left for gate pose. Extend your right leg, plant your left palm, give yourself space. And then reach your right arm overhead, press your hips towards the mirrored wall. And then take movement through your upper arm, deep, full breath. Your right foot, ground it to the earth, especially through your pinky edge. Yeah, nice adjustment. And then take another full breath for movement. On your next inhale, reach your right fingers towards the back windows. Exhale, drop your hand to the earth and then rainbow back towards the front. Find a low lunge. Step back to a plank pose and then your breath to movement. Venture to down dog. Down dog, take a full inhale. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, fan your left foot towards the sky, toes wide, bra. Exhale, bend at your knee, open through your hips. Yeah, if you want movement variations, more than welcome. Then square your hips, straighten your leg. Exhale, knee to nose, find a low lunge. And tuck your back toes, lengthen your stance. And then we're coming back into our arrow lunge. So take it at your own pace. We want sensation on the top of this back foot. Inhale, sweep your arms high. And then as you're ready, keep your lunge low. Engage your core. Knit your low ribs in. And then breathe here. Sensation ground through your right big toe. If it's a little uncomfortable, breathe deeper. And now we'll pull slow, smooth, exhale, fly your arms, straighten your front leg, flex your left toes. Three more times, inhale, arrow lunge. Take it slow, almost like you're moving through liquid. You'll see how fluid you can make your movements. Keep your toes, your hands active. If you want a forceful exhale as you come into Hanuman, maybe take it. And then take it one more time. Pause anywhere along the way. And this time, come into Arda Hanuman. And then there's space for your variations. Option to soften it. Sink your hips towards your heels. Your foot, if you turn it slightly, makes a perfect little seat for your glutes. And then use this time to come back to your breath. If you've gone further or softened, shift back forward, Arda Hanuman. Shift forward slightly first and then quarter turn to the right, set up gate pose, plant your right palm, give yourself space. Extend your left leg, ground through your left pinky, press your hips forward, and then take broad movements through your upper arm. Could be circle, little cactus. Nice, Becky. And then pause on your inhale, extend your left arm towards the back, exhale, drop it to the earth and rainbow to the front, spiral to a low lunge. Plant your palms, step back, plank pose, maybe you flow. Just beautiful expression. Down dog, take an inhale, fill. Exhale, let it go. Nice. One more just like that. Deep inhale. Exhale, release a little heat, a little energy. Nice. <laughs> inhale, extend your right leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Step through lightly. And rise, warrior two. Ground your back heel first. Ground as you rise. And then take a couple bounces. Widen your stance as you settle. Nice, Greg. That was perfect. Beautiful. And then see if you can lift your toes here, fan them wide. Rock your front knee a little more towards the pinky edge of your foot. So opening, 
Sit deeper into your right knee. Beautiful. Inhale, reach forward, reverse warrior. Options with your arms to extend your bottom arm forward. Feel an energetic press. You could also take a half by. But we're here for some breath. So really settle in. Keep the bend in your front knee and then knit your right hip away from your right fingertip. Careful with your neck here. Nice, Lily. Lily, can you deepen the bend in your front knee? Yes. Pretty. Soften your neck. Take another inhale. Exhale your arms back through center. This one in four is called Kite Hawk. We haven't done it in a while. Cactus your arms. Broaden your fingertips. Let's take a little straighten and bend. Yeah, feeling nice today. Exhale, drop your palms to the earth. Tuck your chin towards your chest. And then keep going with your palms. Fan them to the back and then pause. Feel that subtlety in your shoulders. Breathe into it. Inhale, reach. Rise your gaze and then flip your palm just slightly upwards. Little receiving. Two more times. Move slow. Exhale to round. Keep your core engaged. If your legs are on fire, sit with it. Breathe deeper. <laughs> You'll like me later, I promise. <laughs> Beautiful. Pause back and center. Re-extend your arms. Now, nice. Parallel your feet. Prasarita. <laughs> and we're really intentionally looking to lengthen the back of our hamstrings here. So activate your feet. Little pigeon toe. Your choice. Palms back behind to the earth. But ground your crown of your head towards the mat. Maybe your palms to the outer edge of your feet or your big toes. Whatever expression you'd like. And then take at least a few breaths here in stillness. You might even take a peek in the mirror. We want length through our spine. And then you have the option to stay here. Send your breath into your hamstrings, spiral your sitting bones high. We've got another couple breaths if you want a little yogi playtime. You could go upside down. We're really going to go there later. Or <laughs> you could take a twist, maybe skandhasana would be a great place to go for what we're setting up, side lunge. And just make sure you match one side to the next. You've got another couple full breaths. I can if you can here. Can I touch you? Yeah, do you feel that in your inner thighs? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Come back to center. Plant your palms beneath your shoulders. Inhale to a halfway lift. Take a quarter turn to the front. Find a low lunge. And then step your back foot in about a foot. Find pyramid pose. We're in a floss here. So make sure your hips are, your feet are hips width distance apart. Plant your fingertips. And then inhale, find length through your spine. Exhale, round and deep in your fold. Take that two more times. And this time, pause on your halfway lift. Lengthen your tail to your crown. Exhale, deep in your fold. Option to drop your forehead to your knee, maybe your shin. Option to keep connection will soften for a few breaths. And then inhale to a halfway lift, find length. Plant your palms, lengthen your stance. Come into a lizard lunge. And then your choice, if you want a little more heat or fire today, stay here. Keep your back leg lifted or drop to your knee. Untuck your back toes and then option to soften even further. As much as you can, relax through your torso. Especially through your jaw. And then re-invite your breath back into this shape. In your next few breaths here, if you want to explore a variation, you could find external rotation, maybe the quad stretch, bend your back knee, capture your foot. And then use your breath. Send it where you're feeling sensation. 
Nice, Stefan. Careful not to pick up anything through your neck. Beautiful. Take another full deep breath. Let something go with your exhale. And then variations release on one. Plant your palms. Lift your back knee. And then step back to a plank pose. Maybe just downward facing dog or take it through a flow. Beautiful. Take an inhale, fill. Exhale, let it go. <laughs> Do one more. Inhale, fill. Exhale, run it out your mouth. Let something go. Yeah, just created some space. Inhale, extend your left leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Set up warrior two. Set it up from the ground up first. Rise. And then take a couple shifts, a little dance as you settle. And then find your little micro adjustments. Are your feet active? Drop your left knee more towards your pinky edge. Sit deeper. And then notice your face, your jaw. Can you soften it slightly? Inhale, reach forward to reverse. Keep the bend in your knee option, arm expressions. Find whatever shape gives you the most space, especially through your left side body. Send your breath there. These look beautiful. Soften your neck and then reach, expand a little more through your top fingertips. Exhale your arms back through center. Let's take a little bend in straight. And then recommit to your warrior two, like you're on ice skates. Fire up, draw energy through midline, bend your elbows. Inhale first, prepare. Exhale, round. And then three more times, match your breath to your movement. There's no rush. You might even send your breath, tune into the quality behind your heart, the back lobes of your lungs. Keep your fingers broad, your palms wide. Beautiful shapes. Pause back, warrior two, as you're complete. Parallel your feet. Find a little pigeon toe. Heels out. Keeps your joints safe. Exhale, hinge. And you might find another layer, same shape as you took before. Again, three full breaths in stillness here. Check in. If you activate your quads, draw them up and off your knees. Notice what happens in the back line of your leg. You're able to release a little bit more. So pretty, Becky. <laughs> and then your last breath or two here, if you want to play with a shape, just move mindfully. Nice setup, Hillary. So pretty, Alberta. Find your way back to Prasarita. Take your time, plant your palms, inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, take your quarter turn to the front, step your back foot in about a foot, land it at 45, make sure your feet are wide, hips width. And then three pulses, inhale, find length, same time reach your sitting bones towards the back, exhale, deepen your fold. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold, take it one more time, find a little more space. And then pause in stillness. Option to connect your forehead to your shin, your knee, to something. And then take a halfway lift, inhale. Lengthen your stance, find your lizard lunge. Take your time, set it up. Option to keep it active. If you're staying active, keep a long line of energy out your back heel. Option to drop to your forearm. And then any time I'm in a static hold where we open through our hips, I like to invite a part to my lips and just to make sure that no tension travels to my neck or to my jaw. If you'd like to try, feel it out. And 
and then check in first. Sometimes more is happening in stillness in that subtle realm than we realize. You're welcome to stay. You're welcome to explore other variations. And only as you feel even, always that invitation to stay longer if you're somewhere really juicy, sweet. Otherwise, plant your palms, lift your back knee, step back to a plank pose, and then take a final flow to down, down. Mm. Nice intention, Shinzia. It's beautiful. Awesome. So I had some play in mind for us, but come back next week. We'll play with some of these shapes with a wall. <laughs> Today, inhale, lift your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, journey to the top and find a halfway lift. Exhale to a forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, ukatasana. Beautiful. We've been here before, right? Knit your low ribs in, lengthen your low back. Exhale, just a breath, chair plank. Where's your gaze? Broaden your fingers. Reach your pinkies a little closer. Nice variation, Julie. Inhale. Lift your right knee high. Come to standing staff. Flex your right toe. Exhale to an airplane pose. And we'll hang out here for a few breaths. Drop your right hip to the earth. Broaden your right foot. Arm variations. Welcome. Last few breaths here. Reach your crown forward. And then exhale your hands to the earth. I'm standing split. Frame your left toes. Drop your torso towards your standing leg. Keep a little micro bend and then gaze towards your right big toe. Kick higher. And then notice your hips will want to naturally open. Find a little micro adjustment. Pull your right hip towards center. And then soften your torso. Kick a little bit harder. All right, from here, inhale to a halfway lift, front length through your spine. Exhale, jiva squat, bend your front knee, pull your heart forward. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, one more time, jiva, forceful exhale, crouch and curl. Inhale, re-extend, standing splits, and then we'll stay. You have options. Option to stay here. You could always soften forward fold. Maybe one or both palms to the back of your left calf. Other options, plant your palms, palms bright, hasta banda, ground through your fingertips, and then extend your right foot high. It's not a kick, it's a hop lift from your core option to lengthen your stance slightly, and then just little lifts if we want to play with handstand. Think of that same split shape or Ardha Hanumanasana as you lift, and we've got a couple breaths to play. Take what you need. I like to kick on an inhale. Use the breath for buoyancy. You've got a couple more breaths to explore. Maybe you catch a little hang time. As you're complete, I'll know. We'll meet in a forward fold. Bring your feet wide. Yogi's choice, peace fingers to your big toes or padahastasana, gorilla pose, step on your palms. And then generous bend to your elbows if you'd like to deepen through the back of your heart. Take full breaths. Yeah, I like it, Sophie. Maybe a little movement through your head. Release through the back of your neck any remnants. And then keep your grip. Inhale towards a halfway lift, find length. Exhale, deepen your full. Release your grip. Inhale, bring your big toes to touch and find chair pose as you rise. Sit your hips low, Katasana. Beautiful. All right, exhale, chair plane fly. Find length through your crown first. Then inhale, fluid motion, standing staff. Lift your left knee, flex your left toe. Exhale, fluid transition like you're a pendulum. Kick your left heel back, keep your hips square. And then just notice here that subtle realm. Where's the weight in your standing foot? Should be just behind your right big toe to stabilize. 
And then reach, broaden arm expressions. Last full breath here, find length. Exhale, your hands slowly to the earth. Transition into standing splits. I'll leave out the cues here. Option to close down your eyes and just allow your breath, your body to guide the shape. You don't need to take Jiva yet. I'll cue us there in a moment. And then where is your gaze, that subtle realm? If it's not internal, it's towards your left big toe. Visualize it extending a little higher. Are you breathing? Plant your palms. Inhale to a halfway lift. Two jiva. Exhale, forceful. Exhale, crouch and curl. Nice. Inhale, re extend. Exhale, jiva, crouch. Beautiful. Last little push. Inhale, standing splits. Stay here. Deepen. Challenge your balance. Or plant your palms. Hasta banda. Broad, active fingertips and lift on your inhale. <laughs> and notice most of us have a favorite side. <laughs> this is your not so favorite side. Give it a little more love, a little more intention. Don't skip it. Keep breathing. And last little push. I'll know when you're complete this side. We'll meet in a forward fold. Bring your feet wide. This time, just ragdoll pose. Capture opposite elbows or the back of your neck. Find a little sway. Deep, deep bend in your knees. And then plant your palms. Inhale to a halfway lift, finally. Exhale, tiny ball pose. Bring your big toes to touch first. Drop your hips towards your heels. Round your chin to your chest. Take a full inhale along your spine. And then plant a palm in front, a palm behind you. Slowly lower all the way onto your back. Draw your knees into your chest. Compress for just an exhale. And then find legs up the wall pose. Extend your feet towards the sky. Ground through the back of your hips. Let your shoulders rest heavy. Close down your eyes. And then you have the option to stay here. Option, if you'd like to take it further, starting with plow pose, halasana, your palms to the back of your hips. And keeping your throat open, reach your toes to touch eventually back behind your head. And I recommend starting with halasana only if your toes touch. Traditionally, would you take it further into Karnapadasana or shoulder stand? If you're in shoulder stand, it's that same point. Activate your feet. And then option, if you're in familiar territory and you want to take a variation, half lotus, eagle, get funky with your legs. We've got about five full yogi breaths here. Use your breath. Really pretty, Marky. Nice, Greg. Can you reach your heels towards me, your hips towards the back? Just like, yeah. And a little more point of your feet. That looks, yes, beautiful. You feel that? That looks great. Commit to an extra breath longer than you'd like. You're always welcome to hang out longer. If your feet are in the air, meet back through Halasana first. If you're in legs up the wall, stay. <laughs> Halasana, use your palms as breaks back behind your hips. Slowly lower your hips to the ear. And then as your hips ground, bend at your knees, happy baby pose. And traction your spine back flat. Feel that grounding sensation, active feet. Find length through the back of your neck. And maybe just a little play here. Pause back in center. Release a hold of your feet. And then stack your knees directly over your hips. Flex your feet. Create a 90 degree angle. Tee out your arm. Or a little cactus shape if you'd like to continue to open through your heart. Take an inhale first. 
Exhale, slowly drop your knees to the left. Supine twist. If you have a favorite variation, by all means, take it. Otherwise, just release any element of force here. And take a full belly breath. Let your rib cage expand. Exhale, let something go. Engage your core, ride your inhale, the prana back through center, pause. As you're ready, use your exhale to switch it out. Take your time to arrive. I like to bump my hips through center to help lengthen my spine here, if you wanna try that. And then close down your eyes if you haven't already. And just notice, take a scan of your body, any areas that you're still holding on, any residual tension. And soften with your out breath. I like to think of it as smoothing out the edges, especially through your face, maybe the outer edges of your hips, your shoulders. As you feel even, use your inhale, guide your knees back through midline. And then draw your knees up and into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. It's like you're giving yourself a hug. Maybe a little gratitude for your physical body, what it's capable of. Take a full inhale, compress. And then exhale to final shavasana. Take up space. Close down your eye. And then find a part to your lips. Allow your tongue to fall down and away from the roof of your mouth. On your inhale, roll your shoulders up to your ears, down your back, shine them more open through your heart. And let's take a final collective breath. Take an inhale from your low belly, fill and rise. Exhale, send it out your mouth and surrender deeper into support of the earth beneath you. Stay really present in your stillness. And I'll leave us resting in final Shavasana today. Please stay in stillness as long as you can. The end of this song will be about three minutes. When you are ready to go, move slowly, gently, be mindful of those around you. And thank you so much for showing up, for carving this time out for yourself today. Take a little bit of the same attention to the subtle realms with you as you leave. And gratitude. Namaste. Mm. Mm, friends at home, thank you for joining us. Uh, your feedback, always welcome if you have it.